people. Because Jesus is alive, they can know, we can know that we can be forgiven. Romans 4.25, Paul says, He was delivered over over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Now, a lot of us can kind of miss out on this. We th- we, you know, because this, the, the cross is the iconic symbol of the Christian faith, we can think like, okay, the resurrection's nice, but you really need to have that death. And you did need to have that death. But if Christ is not raised, it means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. We are not justified if Christ is not raised from the dead. Paul says this explicitly in 1 Corinthians 15, 17. He says, if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. It's basically worthless. You are still in your sins. You're still guilty. You're still condemned. Now, the reason why that is, is because, well, it's kind of twofold. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we see that He is accepted by the Father. That He is not, in fact, Guilty before the Father. Because that's what everyone thought. Oh, this guy's a blasphemer. He's rejected by God. Um, and, and so, yeah, that's the end with him. By his resurrection, we see, no, that is not the case. That, in fact, God accepts Jesus Christ. And what's more, what it means is that because he has been raised from the dead, he will now ascend to the Father and be able to intercede on our behalf, to act as our mediator between us and God. Now that all sounds very fancy, maybe, and you're like, I I don't know what that means, but it's pretty simple. I mean, imagine if you wanted to go see someone famous, maybe the president or an actor, your favorite, favorite athlete or something like that. You can't just walk up to that person's house. And then let's just make it worse. Let's say, like, you, like put a dent in their car or something. You did something where they wouldn't like you. (laughs) They won't want to have anything to do with you unless maybe you can send someone to mediate on your behalf. Now let's carry this over into the relationship between us and God. God loves us, but we've put a distance between us and God because of our rebellion against Him. We've basically taken a sledgehammer to His creation and said, this is how we want it. And God's like, that's not how I designed it to be. And the question is, how does that get repaired? How does that relationship get repaired? We need someone to be a mediator, to be a go-between, to restore a relationship with God. And that's who Jesus is. He patches things back up because of who He is. Because of the offering of His perfect life and the power that He has to make all things new. 